Well, today I'm out in my old car. This is quite an old car. Showing you where I have my FTM 200DR from Yesu. Of course, that's the North American version of this radio. And when you put it in a car, you have to figure out a place to put it. And here we, I have a small compact car, hatchback design. I don't have a lot of console area to place it, so I chose to use the included uh, hardware uh, right on the side of the shifter, which you can see in the background there. It allows me to look down at it if I need to glance at the display while I'm moving around. Uh, and I often bring this inside, so it raises the question, you know, how convenient is it to operate like that with this radio? You know, do you need to have something special? You know, I've seen lots of videos where folks have their radio placed on a cup mount system, you know, with the face plates off, which you can do with this radio very easily. We'll show you a little, some accessories for that in a moment. But, you know, the question still is, how do you get in and out? So I chose to have the face plate mounted. And I'm gonna show you down here how Yesu made this very, very convenient. If you look right there, there's some metal that is, looks somewhat detached there, but it's an actually a lever and you push on it and the radio will slide out just that easy. So you can see it has a little latch there and when you put it in it just snaps right into place. Makes it extremely convenient and then you're left just to <clears throat> move your remove your antenna and power and you can take it somewhere else. So there you go. Super super easy. I'll pull this out just one more time you can kind of see just a little bit more clearly. There's the plate and you can drill some small holes and use the included screws to mount it. And of course on the side of the radio you can hopefully here see the rail lines where that mount plate interfaces. And you can tell it's quite easy. I'm generally able to do that with just one hand here. Snaps right in place, good to go. Alrighty, well we're back here inside looking at the radio again just to look at a few more accessories um, The first thing I wanted to point out is the cable the power cable that you briefly saw in the car and How long that is it's actually kind of hard to find that out by looking at the website from what I can tell Maybe there's another site that does have that information um, and since mine are all occupied, I was not able to fully measure them, but I, I just want to let you all know that uh, I was able to go from the battery through the uh, firewall and still have extra once I have the thing installed right by the shifter. So plenty, plenty of space there. Um, and I, in fact, had to zip tie a little bit of the extra. Um, in the power cable, there is uh, fuses. And in your kit, you get a couple of extras in case you blow it. So nice and easy. Uh, then the next thing I wanted to show you quickly is the extra uh, wire to mount the fa faceplate elsewhere. And that's one of the cool things about this particular uh, radio is the fact that you can take the faceplate off, which I'll show you right now. If you turn the radio to the side, there's a button right there. And you push that and it snaps right on off and you can see of course the micro SD card there and on the other side there's a couple of ports and that one right there is for the included USB cable just a standard uh, USB 2 um, and you would use that to update the firmware uh, when I first got it, I was a little bit confused by that, but that has nothing at all to do with Wires X or any of the other digital modes. I believe it's just for the firmware. And when you look at this, you can see your faceplate. If you decide to use the extra long cable, you would unhook this. And the same on that side right there. And of course right here is the mic cable. And there's another USB port inside. It's actually not that hard to put this back. You do have to kind of bend the faceplate wire around so it sits nicely and you'll notice that there's a little hole right there for your mic wire to go out when you want it in this this configuration so you got to make sure that's in place there's a couple of 
spots right there that I have to interface. And once it's in place and everything's there, it snaps in nice and nice and easy just like that. So there you go, radios back together. And finally, I wanted to show you that the faceplate, once you have it remotely mounted, you have some other accessories that come along. You got a little adhesive here and a mount plate that you would screw into the back of that faceplate. There's a nice hole there for that. And of course, you can buy some extra accessories that have uh, a faceplate mount that can be tilted up or down. So there's some options that Yaesu makes, and, and I'm sure there are many, many more. Uh, finally, if you look, you'll see you get a nice microphone mount. And I've just threaded it into my old desk here. So you can place the radio mic right there in a handy place. Finally, I wanted to mention that the included manual feels nice and high quality. It's a nice heavy paper, lots of um, very nicely laid out diagrams and all that kind of information. But as you dig further into the uh, operation of this, you'll realize that not everything's in that manual. So you will need to go to Yacy's website and look for the uh, through the manual list and the English ones are towards the bottom. You're going to see a GM manual, instruction manual, instruction for wires X, uh, one for APRS, and one uh, is just called an advanced manual. Um, and there's one describing wires X portable digital node function. Um, and then there's some software there. So you're going to want to go and dig all through all that stuff. And in a future video, I will demonstrate some more of those things as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, give me a like. And hopefully we'll see you next time.